Let's do overcrowding. Let's do overcrowding first. Listen, everyone. New law is signed. That means there's temp patients in there now. Yeah. Ah, perfect. Yo, there's ten patients in there, but only one doctor. That's uh, not so good. All right. We have enough to create scouts. Come on. Now you go over there. Eleven hours to arrive. Gotcha. Hell yeah. We're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. I just realized that we have never ever yet saved the game in our two hours of, of playing. We haven't saved the game once. Should probably do this now. Just in case something goes terribly wrong. There we go. Now, let's turn this back on. We need to find one engineer. Where's them engineers? Whoa, 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 whoa. The coal, the coal is gone. The deposit, the coal deposit is gone. This one here as well. Yo, what the hell are these guys doing now? Where are they? Where are the guys? They're not going there. They're not over there either. I'm not sure what is happening. Our discontent is pretty bad, man. Bad food, cold home. Overcrowded medical facilities, lack of medical care, lack of corpse disposal. Yo, we're trying, alright, we're trying. Steel wreckage depleted. Alright. Yo, then there's gotta be an engineer available here. Let's research something. Lack of yeah, it's pretty much a lack of everything, right? Shit. Oh, what do we do? Coal thumper, faster gathering, sawmill. I don't know. We still have a food problem. Medical post upgrade as well. Should we do this? How much will that cost us? Fifty wood. Shit. Alright, we can't do any upgrades here. Let's turn that off again. Yeah, we still need a lot of wood. Yes, we do. Let's send the kids out there, man. Uh, we went easy on them before, but... Whoa, 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 whoa. Promise fulfilled. You gave your people some much-needed respite from their endless work. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The next one is... Heating up the homes. Oh, I do not like this title. Corpses in the streets. Sir, people are frustrated with the lack of a burial ground. Leaving the dead in the streets is a health hazard and shows a lack of respect for the deceased. I'm not the one who is leaving them there, okay? You go and bury them. <laughs> we're, we're, we're like, what, 10 feet deep in snow, okay? It should not be a big problem. You will have three days to provide a place for the dead. Alright, we can't do this though. 
We can't do this. Like we we will just pass the law and bury them in our backyard and that's it. Should be relatively simple. I don't know what happened to our workers though. Oh, we only have 50 workers. And we pretty much got 30 of them collecting food. Three of them are sick. Four of them are sick. Three are sick. What? We only have eight sick? Can we do some math, please? Three sick. Four sick is seven. Plus three is ten. And here it says we only have eight. And there is another one sick. So that's eleven people sick. When we only have eight sick people. What? What? Excuse me, sir. But this don't make no sense. They're out for three days? Yo, in three days we're out of coal. Two days we're out of food. In 19 hours we are out of coal. This one goddamn house is not heated. You see that? Are you kidding me? Oh no. I knew it. I knew it. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna tear that down, man. We're gonna tear that down and build a new one. Why you gotta be such an ass? Game? Huh? There, there is at least one fourth of this house getting heat. Getting heat. All right, we need coal. We need coal badly. God. Damn it, what do we do? We we get rid of the wood production. Let's leave five people. Gathering some wood. Ste what what is that? Is that that is wood as well, okay. Yo, you gotta you guys gotta work a little longer. But uh, it's only kids. Right, let's, let's. We do this for the kids, okay? Don't ever say I, did, I never did anything for the kids. They only have to work 10 hours a day and not 14 hours a day, okay? That's the best I can do. And, and they better be happy. And I just realized this house did not have a path. Alright. So the kids are gonna work for, for 10 hours. Then we will send some more We'll send some more workers over there. They will do holy shit, that is a lot of discontent. Oh, 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 oh. I did not expect that. But we need coal, okay, we need coal. We need it badly. There we go. The game is like Mordheim, is it? <laughs> Night is coming. Put down your Yo, Florian, what's up, man? How are you doing? We got nobody who's available to work here. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We have 16 minutes left to fulfill this promise. Uh, we're not gonna make it. We're not gonna make it. Let's scrap this. Alright, we're gonna fail this challenge anyway.
Oh, well, that sucks. That's that. Promise broken. You promised people warmth, you broke your promise. Hope falls, discontent rises. Now we're in some deep shit. Final warning. People are furious. Sir, people are extremely discontent with your rule. A revolt could break out against you at any minute. What should we do? We must hold on for a couple more days. You will have two days to lower discontent. Dis 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 discontent. People are naughty. <laughs> I have to lower it that much? What? Oh, come on, man. Th that is a lot, man. How the hell do we do this? Two days. Build a cemetery or snow pit. Can we really build this? I don't think we can build this. Man. How, how are our scouts doing? They, they will be there in two hours. Like this should give us some hope and, and reduce discontent. We got about 20 hours of coal left. We have two more days until the temperature will drop. After, once this happens, we're dead. I'm, I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure once this happens, we are gonna die here. You guys will go back to working normal hours, okay? That should lower it. It did a little bit. Alright, it did a little bit. Ah damn it. We gotta we gotta put some more engineers. We gotta put some more engineers in our health facilities here. That should make things a little bit better as well. Although we only have six sick people. We should be able with just one medical post. Uh, we, we should be able to deal with just one medical post. Oh well. If I remember right, the revolt is part of questline, so you can't avoid it. Oh, okay. But I, I'm pretty sure we're not there yet, Frost. <laughs> we, we're still working on a different quest. So maybe that's coming later, but it should not be coming right now, I, I don't think so. And yeah, Blank, thank you for the, the giveaway link. Guys, today is the last day for this week's giveaway. It's a programming puzzle game, Shenzhen IO. Check it out, the link is provided there. It has lots of good reviews on Steam. If you're into programming or puzzle games, check it out. You're gonna like it. And then uh, tomorrow we'll have the new uh, giveaway up and running. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking, do I really suck this much in this game? <laughs> But then you figured out some some stuff is just scripted, okay. Yeah, for the for the story campaign I can I can understand that, but when you play the endless mode then it shouldn't just be scripted, right? That wouldn't be so cool. Alright. We don't really need wood now, do we? We do need the What's it called? The cemetery. 
I don't even see it though. I shouldn't be under heating, right? It it should be under health. I don't see a cemetery. Like we have the infirmary there. Maybe that just means build a cemetery or a snow pit. Maybe that's just the law then. Because there was something in there. Cemetery, there we go. Oh, I'd have to build this afterwards, okay. Alright, I have to build something that will reduce discontent. What's the corpse? Dis uh, discontent will rise. Okay, we can't do this then. So in two hours we can sign a new law and then we can build a cemetery. And it's gonna cost 10 wood, but we have the wood, so we can't just completely shut these guys down for now. And focus on... Focus on getting some more wood. Uh, coal. Let's get some more coal. There we go. What's this? Refusal to work, are you serious? A man assigned to an emergency shift has refused to work. He said that he's already worn out and he doesn't want to end up dead like one of his friends. Only one person died so far and that had to be your friend. Come on, man. No, both options will, will, will increase the discontent. Are you serious? Exactly what we need right now, huh? Fuck. That is exactly what we need right now. I'll put another engineer there. I think the engineers work faster. Right? Or, or do they... Do they gather at like the same speed as the workers? Because then I would not waste my engineers on gathering coal. Alright. We are back to full discontent. Excuse me? Why? The bad food? But food is a real problem though. But maybe we will go back to making normal food and not soup. That will reduce it a little bit. The overcrowded medical facilities, there is no way this will always stay there. Because we passed that law. Corpse disposal we can take care of. I don't know why bad health care. Why, why, why do we have bad health care? Oh, we have a lot of big, a lot of sick people right now. What happened? Why do we have so many sick people now? What? So many sick people, why? Alright, let's fill this up with doctors, I mean... Jesus. Here, I have, I have a perfect idea. These guys are working 24-7, so I need to make sure they're full. And then we just let two kids gather some wood. And the rest of the kids, we go and, and uh, send them to gather some coal. And yeah, that's that. I hope... I hope we're gonna survive this. What happened here? 22 hours still. God damn it. Only way to avoid it is cheats. <laughs> now we're not gonna avoid it. We're gonna deal with it. We're gonna deal with it. I don't even know what that means, you know. I thought it was uh, game over, but... I guess it's not, if it's part of the game.
Exploration. What is that? Once they reach an unexplored site, scouts will await your orders. To issue them, click the highlighted icon. All right. Scouts will often need your decision on how to deal with what they find. Scouts carry the resources they recover with them. So in order to make use of those resources, you need to call them back to the city and wait for their return. Oh man, they're gonna return with some people. We need to build more tents. Amputees. We, we kind of know. The beacon, we know that. Temperature requirements. Alright, I think we know. Survivors, yeah. The rest of our people made camp here. Too exhausted to go on. We should escort them to the city. How many though? How many are those? Hey, hey, hey. Search the area. A happy reunion. We enter the camp appearing out of the driving snow. A choir of excited voices welcomes us. Thank God you found us. We had been wandering for days until we couldn't go on any longer. Soon we'd begin to starve. Children and adults surround us, packed and ready to go. Let's escort them. Tw 22 people? No, what is that? Well, that is a lot. Three kids, 10 engineers, 22 people. Holy crap, 35 new people. That means four new houses. Who's gonna, who's gonna pay for that, man? They will be back in five hours already. We will not have built four houses in five hours, I can tell you that much. And uh, who's gonna feed these guys? Oh no. Oh no. Crap. Ten wood. Exploration equals resources. Yeah, unless it's uh, people. <laughs> then it equals needing more resources. One, two, three, four. All right. Now, come on. We're gonna get through this, all right? I still just don't know how to reduce discontent so much, though. Scouts unit number one have returned safely to the city. You can disband the scouts at the beacon or send them back. Well, we're definitely gonna send them back, okay? Hey, there's a cutscene! Nice! Reunions. It's heartwarming to see families reunited after so many hardships. But shouldn't there be other settlements nearby? The first expeditions left London long ago. They ought to be well established by now. They'll surely help us find our footing. Uh, I don't think so, man. They're all dead. They're all dead, yo, and discontent didn't go down one bit. You kidding? Are you kidding? Our people found a trail leading into the wilderness. We should follow it. We must find other people and ask them for help to secure our survival. Yeah, this we will do this, okay? This is the first thing I saw, a cut off his leg. Oh man, a frightened patient. One of our people is facing death, but he's still refusing amputation. 
He keeps screaming that he doesn't want anyone to touch his leg and he won't change his mind. Even though gangrene will kill him in a matter of hours. Cut off his leg. <clears throat> Alright. Sturdy shelter. Yo, there is really... Shelter? A bulky cylindrical construction stands on a small hill. The Union Jack flies over it. But there's no sign of movement. Alright, so people from uh, UK actually came there, huh? I think they're dead though, and we're just gonna find some supplies. Let's see. 21 hours though, hold on, we might have just uh, made a big mistake here. We cannot cancel this anymore, can we? Because... They might not make it back there before the temperature drop. And that might kill them, I don't know. I don't know. What what else do we have here? Oh, we've seen that. That. All right, all right. We're cooking real food. You see that? You see what I'm doing for you guys? We got some homeless people. I know. I know. I know. Promise broken, emergency shift, unpopular decision. Shit. We might not get rid of that discontent. Food for overtime work. Our people are becoming less and less committed to their work. Perhaps we should at least give them extra rations while they're sweating blood on emergency shifts. Are you kidding me? All this time, we've did, we've done like three emergency shifts. Alright, I mean it's day eight. So maybe three is a lot, I don't know. Yes, they deserve it. From now on, emergency shifts will cost food. Hope will rise. That... Hope rising does not help me, okay? I need discontent to go down. We might be doing okay on coal. Food is only for about a day though. Guess we can shut down again. Um, what do we do here? Let's reduce that a little bit. Get some more... Get some more wood. We also need some more steel. I just realized that. Oh, we have a lot more people now. Hold on. I completely forgot about that. I completely forgot about that. Yo, we can fill up the hospital here. We don't have that. Okay, yo, we can send them out to work. We have another day where they can actually get some work done before we need to call them in because it's getting too cold again. And we still really need some more food, right? I might build another hunter's hut. I can't even do that. Oh, I don't have the wood for that. Shit. Alright. Go do the wood thing, please. You guys get the steel. And then... Uh, yeah, we're gonna get some more over here as well. Come on, 